All right, so in this video, we're going to add a file upload field to our Google form. So you'll probably want to use file upload if you are creating some sort of application form and maybe they have to submit some PDF or maybe they have to upload some pictures to you. So let's see how it's done to keep this clean. I'm going to use the section four. We'll call this final step. And here I'm going to add another question and it's going to be file upload type. I'm going to hit continue. Question is going to be this. So now you want to choose whether you want to allow only particular file types, which you should do. So I'm going to click allow only specific file types. If you want them to only submit PDFs, you'll click PDFs. Obviously for me, it's going to be spreadsheet because I want them to upload their spreadsheet. If you have images, you'll do images. Then you can choose how many files maximum they are allowed to upload. So see by default, it's one. You can give them five, 10 uploads and so on. I'm going to go with one and then the maximum size for uploaded spreadsheet. So I'm going to do one megabyte. So you also have this option to limit how much information can be uploaded from this form in general. So if you have, let's say 1000 people using this form and uploading files, then all of these files are stored on your Google drive. Now you might want to limit how much space you want to dedicate to all the information that's being submitted from this form. So for that, you can do like a total limit. So I can do change and then see maximum size of all files uploaded. So we can do one gigabyte, 10 gigabyte and so on. So one gigabyte, as you can see, is the smallest one we can use. Is this required? I'm probably not going to make it required, but you could. Like I said, all the files being uploaded will be stored on your Google Drive. You don't have to create a folder for it. Everything happens automatically. So what's going to happen on your Google Drive is going to create a folder with the name of this form. So for me, this is called my form. And then inside of that folder is going to create another folder with the name of the question for that file upload field. And then in that folder, it will store all the files that are being uploaded. So let's see how this works. I'm going to go under preview. So it's just going to warn the user that when they upload their files, it's going to be associated with their user account. And that's fine. Now we're going to enter some information here. Next. I'm going to say no to skip the third section to go to our upload. And there is our upload form. So what we have to do is click add file. And then we can either add the file from our computer or from our drive. I'm going to choose a file from my computer. That's fine. Drag and drop. We're going to click upload. Remember I said spreadsheet, right? That's what I'm allowed to upload. So that should be fine. That's a spreadsheet. Hit submit. And it's done. And now what's going to happen in your actual spreadsheet where you're storing this result, it's going to give you a link to that file. So let me show you. So here's my Google Drive and that's our form results. So if we go back and take a look, this is the last one. You could just click on it and that will open the file that was sent to you. Or you can also find that file if you go to your Google Drive. See in my Google Drive, after I upload, there is a folder with the name of my form, my form. 
See if you remember, my form is the name of this form. And it says my form file responses. And if I open that, see there is another folder and that will be the name of that field. Please upload your spreadsheet. And again, it also adds this file responses to the end. So if I open that, there's that file. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.